We are now on the first week of fourth quarter and I cannot contain my excitement for you. Congratulations because you've reached this far. Just continue working and studying hard and everything will pay off. Believe me. So, let's get started. and I'm here to help you in this learning journey. Are you ready to learn? Great! Before we start, make sure that you have your pen, paper, and self-learning module ready. Are you familiar with the terms such as analysis, data, and bibliography? Clueless? Fret not! Just keep on watching because this lesson is about Distinguishing technical terms used in research. At the end of our lesson, you were expected to get familiar with technical terms used in research. As time passes by, your vocabulary grows even wider and wider. Some are common and basic, but as you move to a higher level such as going to senior high school and tertiary level, the words that you use also move to a higher level. Academically, you are encountering different words and terminologies which are useful as you go along with your journey in studies and in the long run, you can use them in your chosen career in the future. This time, you will get to know the technical terms that will help you in writing your own research. What is research? Research is defined as a systematic and scientific process to answer questions about facts and relationship between facts. It can also be defined as an activity involved in seeking answer to unanswered questions. It seeks to generate an answer to the problem as well as suggesting additional questions in need of further inquiry. Aside from the term research itself, knowing other common research terminologies will help you understand and interpret scholarly journal articles. The following are basic terms and their definitions. 1. Analysis A method of organizing, sorting, and scrutinizing data in such a way that a research question can be answered or meaningful inferences can be drawn. 2. Bibliography A list of all the sources used in the process of researching. 3. Concept Refers to a mental idea of a phenomenon. These are words or terms that symbolize some aspects of reality. Example, love, pain. 4. Conclusion Provides a summary of the research. 5. Data An information that can be words or numbers. 6. Data gathering tools refer to devices or instruments used to collect data such as questionnaire or computer-assisted interviewing system. 7. Data presentation involves the use of a variety of different graphical techniques. 8. Descriptive study a research design that describes what is, for example, a survey. 9. In-text citation, the brief form of the reference included in the body of one's work. 10. Limitations, restrictions in a study that may decrease the credibility of the research findings. 11. Literature review, a critical summary or research on a topic of interest generally prepared to put a research problem in context or to identify gaps and weaknesses in prior studies so as to justify a new investigation. 12. Plagiarism The unethical practice of using words or ideas of another author or researcher without proper acknowledgement. 13. Quantitative research The process of collecting and analyzing numerical data. 14. Questionnaire A set of questions used to gather information in a survey. 15. Research topic a subject or issue that a researcher is interested in 
when conducting a research. 16. Respondents. Those persons who have been invited to participate in a particular study and have actually taken part in the study. 17. Research question. The question around which a researcher centers his or her research. 18. Sample. A part or subset of population selected to participate in the research study. 19. Social demographic profile. Includes age, sex, education, migration, background and ethnicity, religious affiliation, marital status, household, employment, and income. 20. Variables. Attributes or characteristics that can have more than one value such as height or weight. These are qualities or quantities, properties or characteristics of people, things, or situation that change or vary. There are two types of variables, independent variable and dependent variable. Independent variables. Variables that are purposely manipulated or changed by the researcher. It is also called manipulated variable. Dependent variables. Variables that depend on other factors that are measured. These variables are expected to change as a result of an experimental manipulation of the independent variable or variables. Let's take a look at the terms used in research that are abbreviated. These are Latin words and non-English structures, etc. It means, and so on. E.g., exempli gratia. It means, for example. Literally, it means, free as an example. Et al. It means, and others. There you have it. The technical terms used in research. Did you understand the lesson? Great! Now let's have a short exercise. Please answer the following questions and write your answer on a clean sheet of paper. Identify the terminology that is being described in each number. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. 1. These are attributes or characteristics that can have more than one value, such as height or weight. 2. The answer is variable. 2. These are variables that depend on the factors that are measured. 3. The answer is dependent variable. 3. It is a Latin research terminology which means, for example, The answer is e.g. 4. It is a part or subset of population selected to participate in a research study. The answer is sample. 5. It involves the use of a variety of different graphical techniques. The answer is data presentation. How did you fare in your exercise? Great! Your learning activity sheet will be uploaded in our Google Classroom. So, I hope you learned something from our discussion today. I hope to see you again in our next video lesson. To get notified of the new video lessons, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell. Bye everyone! Thanks for watching!